Now, here's one of these finished. I don't have the extra pages in this one of the little butterfly and the, um, okay, here's this. I can put this one in. They never stop looking up. Post it. I'll put mine in a different direction. Because these are in all of the books and they're just in as a post-it. People can glue them in wherever they like. So, there was just one part of this whole process that I didn't do, which was undoing the box. And, you know, if you haven't done this before, it's kind of hard. You just start pulling at this and you open it as carefully as you can. And keeping as much of this side on as you can, etc. And, of course, that's the end that you open. So, you open it neatly. Now, this one's all bent up, and this one's all nice and straight, so I'm going to, yeah, both a little bent up. I'm going to use this one for the outside, so that means this is the front, because this is where the opening will be. Unless I decide to use this one for the outside, but it's pretty bent up too, more so. So, this one that I know is going to be the outside. I'm going to cut like this. Right down the middle of there. Now all of these things will be folded to the inside and glued down. In order to do that, we need to trim the corners, just like we do in sewing. These two ends here. Okay. Everything's ready except for these two flaps. And they're going to be glued down and in, but I want them to be inside the fold. So I'll just trim them a little tiny bit. that one and then what you'll do I used E um, E9000 or E6000 on these but this is paper to paper and that's what this is made for although this is a craft glue it glues other things I'm pretty sure it's a craft glue or an all-purpose glue rather than a school glue By the way, look what I got in advertising today. A card. It's plastic coated. I don't know if it's made of plastic, but this would be good for scraping paint because it's bigger than a credit card. Yee. Like squeegee. Squeegee through a stencil. All right, so that's that one. And that's going to be the outside. Oops, didn't trim that one. There. And that's just so you don't wind up with a double layer of cardboard. Kind of is double layered a little bit, but you don't have to worry about it. I think I've been putting this side down first and then 
these down second. All right, I'm not going to glue those just now. I'm going to wait till that glues. Again, it's kind of like pressing your seams open always. Just let your glue dry and go on to the next step if you're using wet glue. All right, now the other box is right here. Oh, here. Here's the one that hasn't been opened. So we just kind of get both sides because they don't have the glue and peel away. And then when we get the middle, we try real hard to keep as much of the paper that belongs to this part with it. Hmm. Okay, now this is plastic here that came up. It doesn't matter though, we're going to cut it all off. All right. Now, this one, don't cut this. Okay, that's, that's why I'm doing this. This is the important part. So on the first one, we cut this, and here it is, and it's on the, on the edges of the book. This one here we need. So we're going to take this out. And carefully cut it out. And then I have these nice long scissors that are flat on the bottom so I can get a fairly straight cut. And this um, we trim. a little later after getting them uh, lined up together. All right, so now this one here is going to be the inside. First of all, we're going to take this piece here and put it aside because we're going to glue it in here to give the spine more stability. Some of them I have gone ahead and glued in double pieces. But we have this also. So let's see now. Have I? Yeah. Which we can glue down to here and then glue onto there. Start telling what I did. But at any rate, they all have this in for a spine, and then this There. Okay, so you see what we wind up when, with here then is a triple, a triple on a cardboard spine, which gives it the strength that it needs to resist these rubber bands pulling on it. This really is like a, not a paperback, but those, a library binding. It's a, it's a hard cardboard. It's really nice. So that's that. Um, these other steps are illustrated in other videos, which I sure would be very nice to edit together. And so all of these are kind of rambling videos. But I did want to get the instructions down because these books are going out and who knows maybe somebody might be interested to see how these are made i mean really how they're made not just so i've done it i've done it all in real time here i think i've been cutting these things off but i don't really know and it doesn't matter 
because this is drying and I'm done. Um, please subscribe. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> Give me a thumbs up. The little bell that you click on is for notifications. So that means every time I load up or anyone that you subscribe to loads up a video, it comes onto your phone and says, ah, there's a video to look at. So that's not really necessary <laughs> unless, uh, you know, Sometimes people know that something is coming out. Then you'll say, "Hey, hit the put, you know, hit the notification bell, and then you can be notified of something in particular that you're waiting for." But subs uh, subscriptions just mean in your feed when you go looking to see, "Oh, what should I look at today?" It'll be in there, and the things you look at more often than other things will come up first. But that's like your your scrolling list of stuff that's there. So please give me a thumbs up and uh and a like. I'm really enjoying doing this and hoping that people are getting really good information out of these and doing their own work. Or at least if they're not working, enjoying watching my hands do the work. Because I know I really enjoy, enjoy watching other people that do crafts and what they're doing with their hands down here. So thumbs up, please.